In this video, I would like to point out a couple of the features that were added to the last version of Chameleon Sampler. Um, in particular, a whole new drum section, which allows you to play the pads like a drum machine in one shot mode. But what I really want to focus on in this video is the analog vocoder and how to integrate that into various DAWs and the setup process. In order to use the vocoder, Chameleon requires an additional audio input, whether that be from the microphone uh, and a vocal, you singing, or a, uh, an additional audio input such as a drum machine or something to manipulate the, uh, the sound in real time. If you run the app in standalone mode and press the vocoder button, then press the one touch setup and pick a preset, the vocoder is ready and armed. Simply play a chord progression and sing into the microphone. There are several vocoder presets which change the tonal quality of the vocoder, but these simply change the instrument preset behind the scenes. Uh, you can choose any instrument preset, but those like uh, brass or strings uh, or some uh, saw type pads are probably the best ones because they're high in harmonic content. So let's take a look at how to use the vocoder under AUM. Here we have Chameleon loaded as an AUV3 effect and you can see the audio path is straight through from the microphone through the vocoder to the headphone. Now things start to get really interesting when you replace the microphone with other AUV3 instruments. Please notice the vocoder acting as a gate, an audio gate, and sound only passes through when you actually play chords on the keys. Again, different uh, vocoder presets may sound better with different sound sources and you need to experiment with these different presets and the vocoder settings to see what suits the uh, source, uh, source instrument. Don't forget that the vocoder presets are simply selecting uh, suitable instrument presets behind the scenes. So you may want to experiment with your own uh, sounds. Uh, like I said, um, anything that's high in harmonic content, such as brass or strings or kind of sawtooth waveforms, seem to sound best with the vocoder. Now Cubase is a very popular and a fantastic app, but the flexibility of routing isn't so good in Cubase as in AUM. Um, so in this case I'm using uh, InterApp Audio and I've got my MIDI keyboard uh, connected to uh, Chameleon's uh, MIDI port and um, recording everything inside of Cubase. <laughs> Now I'm sure there are a lot cleverer people than me out there that are going to come up with some unique ways of routing audio and MIDI in and through uh, Chameleon. Um, and I look forward to seeing everyone else's uh, ideas and suggestions. But for now, this short video should help everyone get started. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.